How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the Source Code. My name is Deshaun, and in this video, I am just gonna be touching on some additional things that you can do with the command handler. So in the last video, I didn't really touch on how we can implement using args. It's not quite any different than before, but I figured it might be helpful that I, I do this. So we're gonna do a few things before we do this. Uh, the first thing is let's go ahead and change command here to command name, because that's really what it is. And we'll, we'll just go ahead and copy this and paste this all the way through. Okay, then after that, we're gonna go ahead and create a new const, call it command, and then here we're just going to say client.commands.get command name. Then what we can do inside of our try here is we can just say command.execute message args. And there we go. Okay, so in order to use args, this is what we need to do. So let's go ahead and create a new class and let's just call this args info.js. And inside here, it's gonna follow the same model, model export that we used before. So it's gonna be equals brackets. We'll close off that bracket. We'll say name. This is going to be args-info, comma, description. This is going to be info about the arguments then we'll go ahead and say execute this is going to take a message and args and now remember if you're using the default linter it's going to show you that you might have an error or if it's if you changed it like we did in the last video it's just going to say it's just going to be an underlined blue which is simply just a warning let's throw that comma there Okay, so now inside of here to use arguments, like I said, it's just like before. So we can say if args.length is not, we can return a message.channel.send and we'll say you have not provided any arguments. And then we'll just go ahead and say dollar sign bracket message dot author oh that's not a dollar sign dollar sign message dot author there we go okay and then what we can do is now we can go ahead and say else if args zero equals and we'll just do the standard foo we will go ahead and say return message dot channel dot send and we'll say bar and then if it is none of those, we'll just send another message in the channel. So message.channel.send. And we will say arguments, dollar sign, squiggly brackets, args. We'll do a new line, so backslash n, arguments, length. And this is going to be dollar sign, squiggly brackets, args dot length and that's it and then we'll end this off okay so quick thing the reason why our bot wasn't working is because i had written names here and it actually just needs to be name so make sure you do that and we have another spelling error here so uh i accidentally wrote channel with one n so let's restart our bot and now if we go ahead and say args dash info and we say hi we can see here arguments high length one because it doesn't equal our arguments of foo. And so now if we say args dash info foo, it will return back bar. Great, so now we're gonna make a couple changes here that will probably help you guys in the long run. So first off, we're gonna go ahead and just say args true here. So we can get rid of that. And now the next thing we're gonna do is we're actually going to get rid of this because we're gonna move this over to our main class and we can just change this now to if args equals foo, return bar and all that. And now in our main class here, underneath where we have command, we can actually just go ahead and put if args.length and then we can run this here and then it will return there. So that way we don't have to do it every single time. So now if we go ahead and restart our bot, 
just to make sure everything is still working. If we say r.info hi, we can see here that it gives us our thing or our message there. And then if we say foo, it returns with bar. So that is all I got for you guys in this video. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a comment, drop a like, and subscribe to the channel. We really much appreciate it. Most of the people who watch our videos are not subscribed. So if you are not subscribed watching this, subscribe. Join our Discord. It's a lot of fun. You can get help there if you need it. And I will see you guys in the next video.